Nicol di Bernardo de Machiavelli, sometimes called Nicholas Machiavel, was an Italian diplomat, author, philosopher, and historian. Among his best-known works is The Prince, I.L. Principe, written in 1513 but not published until 1532. Many consider him to be the father of modern political philosophy and political science. As a senior official in the Florentine Republic, he handled diplomatic and military affairs for many years. In addition to comedies and carnival songs, he wrote poetry as well. In addition to his professional correspondence, his personal correspondence is useful for historians and scholars of Italian correspondence. He served as secretary to the Second Chancery of the Republic of Florence from 1498 to 1512, when the Medici were out of power. Injury to a man must be severe enough to ensure that his vengeance cannot be feared. In my opinion, nothing is more difficult, more perilous, or more uncertain than taking the lead in the introduction of a revolutionary way of doing things. To be obeyed, one must know how to command. Being feared is better than being loved if both are not possible. When you deceive the deceiver, you have twice as much pleasure. Men must either be treated generously or destroyed since they can take revenge for small injuries, but not for heavy ones. It is not titles that honor men, but men who honor titles. It is the wise man who does at once what a fool eventually does. Nothing worthwhile has ever been achieved without risk. It is impossible to avoid war, it can only be postponed for the benefit of others. It is clearer to see through the hourglass of our lives as more sand has escaped. When there is a great deal of willingness, there can be a great deal of difficulty. Men ought either to be indulged or utterly destroyed, for if you offend them, they will take vengeance, but if you injure them greatly they are unable to retaliate. An injury done to a man must be such that vengeance cannot be feared. In order to assess a ruler's intelligence, the first thing to do is look at the men he surrounds himself with. There are three kinds of intelligence, one kind understands things for itself, the other appreciates what others can understand, and the third understands neither for itself nor through others. The first kind is excellent, the second is okay, and the third is useless. We have free will and a share in the glory that is ours, and God is not willing to do everything. Rather than preserving the status quo, I want to overthrow it. Promises were a necessity of the past, broken promises are a necessity of today. If you disarm people, you begin by showing them that you distrust them, whether through cowardice or lack of confidence, and both of these opinions generate hatred. Success requires constant change in one's conduct. A man's ambition usually rises from one to another, first, he seeks protection against attack, and then he attacks others. Men are so simple and so prone to obey immediate needs that a deceiver can never run out of victims for his deceptions. Virtuous acts are hated just as much as evil ones. A prince should study only war. During peacetime, he should think about it only as a breathing period, which provides him with the chance to think and make plans for military operations. Generally speaking, we may say that mankind is fickle, hypocritical, and greedy.